Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdale. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review the Slick Video Sprint Tripod 2. Video Slick, or was it the... <laughs> Geez, I got that all backwards. That sounds sexier. The video slick instead of the slick video. No, no, no. No, no. Slick video sounds better. So, there are lots of different tripods for you to set your camera on to go travel. I mean, most people, they, they grab their phone and they click away. But for those who are much more serious about their video, meaning if you don't have a tripod, you are not serious. You're right. Okay. <laughs> so, a tripod like for the video I'm doing right now. My camcorder has to be on a tripod because what, what do you want me to hold this thing and wander around? No, 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 you gotta get a tripod. Now, one of the temptations about tripod dumb is to buy the cheapest possible tripod, right? I only wanna spend 20 bucks. I'm going to go to whatever XYZ big box store and I'm gonna get, and this isn't as cheap, I'm gonna get whatever cheap tripod and it'll be fine. Now. One of the challenges is you discover as you march up in the land of tripod, there's stuff for 20 bucks and there's stuff for like a thousand dollars. What? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, this is, I can't even remember what it was. It, I think it was about less than a hundred bucks, but each tripod has a place and a purpose. And what happens is as you buy tripod, you will graduate and realize Man, I should have bought a really expensive tripod in the first place because that cheap, cruddy tripod fell apart and it died. Yeah. So you have to think, okay, where does the tripod match or you know, where does it fall in my hierarchy and totem pole as a tripod? So for me, this is a very light duty, ultra light tripod. Like right now I'm filming on my Bogan Jr. tripod. I'll, I'll put a link below to that. That thing has lasted me, oh, I don't know, pushing 20 years, crazy long. But it's relatively short. I mean, it's okay as a travel tripod. But when I was watching Les Stroud in Survivor Man, I mean, I, I do my own show, World Beyond, and everybody always discusses what gear does Les use? I mean, because he's out there for seven days, starving, hungry, he's got tripods and gear to do what he does. But what is his main tripod for his main camera? And I found out that it is the Slick Video Sprint, and I'm looking over there because of the screen. Let's try that again. The Slick Video uh, Sprint 2, boom, boom, boom. Now, what is so good about this tripod versus all the others? This particular tripod is specifically meant for video because, and I'll show you right here, see this little springy deal? Yeah. This locks into the extra hole on the bottom of your camcorder. If you're using a, a camcorder, even a small cheapy guy to my prosumer camcorder was about 1200 bucks, up to, I mean, I'm not gonna put a huge JVC or something on this, but my, my camcorder is a thousand to three thousand dollar camcorders. I can put on here and confidently use. It comes with a standard quarter 20, and we will tilt this out. You can unlock this guy to lift, but what we'll do is when the head is down here, you unlock the, where is it, the rotate guy. You twist this out and you tilt the head. And this is called a fluid pan tilt head, where the head goes like this. Normally for photography, I prefer a ball head. It's much easier to handle a camera. This is slower, but for video, you don't just whip the camera around. It's miserable to watch. Let me, let me grab my phone here, hang on. And we'll wait for the camera to go out of focus. Oh yeah, check that out. So a lot of times, I'll just keep talking, I don't care if it's in focus. A lot of times people film like this and this and this. And then when you watch it, you're like uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Right, not enjoyable. So if you're doing video, it behooves you to have a tripod. So I've got five or six tripods. I bought this for backpacking specifically. Now I am an ultra light backpacker. This is whatever it is, two pounds. 
This weighs 20% of my entire backpack. It's crazy. I use a Gorilla Pod. I'll put a link to the Gorilla Pod below. Uh, just hit the little arrow down and you'll see the links. But I bought this because it doesn't look that small, but this actually fits into my carry-on bag. And I can release the head, pull it out, hopefully it doesn't fall apart, and make this even shorter so it totally fits in my carry-on bag. So far, I have really liked this tripod. Now, for video, usually you want a much more serious tripod because you need stability. Well, that's all great, but if you're traveling, are you gonna haul around a six foot tripod that only scales down to this much when you're flying to India or Amsterdam or wherever? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, good luck in setting a big asshole. Oh, ooh, sorry, oops, bleep, big tripod. <laughs> oh, I just swore, sorry. Uh, a big old tripod in the middle of a cathedral. They will come up, they will do this, they will show you the no video in here unless you pay money. Some don't even allow that. So this guy specifically is for me to travel around to have and just, just for travel and videography. Uh, pretty good. The locking mechanism here, well, let's see, we'll lock that guy down so it doesn't rotate. And you have the second rotation, so you've got to lock the neck extender. Also, traditionally on cameras, I do not use a neck extender. On this guy, I've had to use it because it's short, and that's a trade. But the lock system is pretty good here. And you can see the classic little twisty guy. Uh, let's see. If you don't have fingernails, let me put the tripod down and not drop it. If you don't have fingernails, this is a little tough to open. But it's got the classic capture screw. So you can spin that around. It, it works pretty well. Well, one thing that uh, bothers me about this is there's no secondary lock mechanism. So if for some reason you accidentally snag this guy, it is possible that your camera will go pew. Now, on the Manfrotto's and the Bogans, that's really easy and they've created a little brass catchy deal. I have never, knock on wood, had that happen yet. So I click this on here and it's flush and it fits well. I really haven't had the feel where this is going to happen. Now another thing that I really love about this tripod is not twist legs, but snap legs. Go for snap legs unless you have a reason to do twist legs because the snap legs, boom, boom, boom. We'll just totally demonstrate this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, done, done, done. Instead of twist, 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 doing the twist. Ooh, I, I, uh, I need to quit my singing career there, but so this for me, me personally, snap locks are so much easier because as I'm putting my tripod down, I snap the top and I let gravity do most of the work. And I snap these guys and then I'll snap this guy. And by the time it's all done, the whole thing's almost all put away. If you have to do the twist, 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 twist maneuver, you're gonna get worn out and you're gonna despise it. This guy also comes with rubber feet, very nice. The only thing I did not like is it came with a little screw down cap here that was supposed to stop the neck from completely telescoping out. As you can see, I lost it. It, it, was, it was a light duty plastic piece. I would say that's the only thing I don't like about this tripod. Uh, the, also has a little locky collar here. Uh, I don't know, you know that, uh, I guess you can crank it down and then prevent the neck from going. So you've got two locks here and then this guy twists as well. So that, that's a thing there, but this guy is now gone. I, I lost the backpacking and eh, whatever. I don't ever use this, that's hard to get to. So I only use the, the screw down nut but I would recommend not over cranking this because it will crush the column. But overall, I have to say, this slick video sprint tripod two has served me very well. I've run around a lot with it. Remember, it's a very light tripod. 
So if you're in windy conditions or rough terrain, just be mindful. Now, remember that Les Stroud, Mr. Survivalist himself, he used exactly or very, very similar the Slick Series video tripod too. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Your video might get blown around in the wind at all, but hey, it's super light and uh, no problem for backpacking, right? My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a, uh, what am I? Uh, yeah, I'm a Polar Explorer motivational speaker, but I'm also a filmmaker bringing you lots of entertainment. Please like and comment on the video. Subscribe and hit the little uh, dinger thing to the right of the subscribe button, please. Uh, for the info on the video and the links here, I'll put a link to this tripod and other stuff. Hit the little down arrow next to the video and you can see my links. Please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.